All right, guys, Christmas is finally over. I'm back in the shop. I know you guys have been waiting for this video. Everybody knows I got these things. Today we have the TPOB Goblin Clipper and Trimmer. We're gonna open them up, check these things out, and see what they're all about. All right, guys, so you can see it here. This is the TPOB Goblin Clipper. Here's the box. Not a whole lot on the front. TPOB on the bottom. Goblin on the side. TPOB Goblin all the way around. Go ahead and check out the back. It says TPLB Goblin Super Powered Vector Motor, which runs at 11,000 RPMs while still offering the longest continuous runtime. XO Combination Black Diamond Carbon Blade stays cooler and rust free, mixing taper and fade technologies into one blade, saving cutting time. Ergonomic design to have a balanced weight and comfortable use while still offering low noise level and superior performance. Interchangeable click lever with five length settings. Shorter size body at 13.5 centimeters in length and lightweight at 200 grams. Includes six double magnetic guards, 1.5. 3, 4.5, 6, 10, and 13 millimeters, and a charging dock. You guys can see down here, we got the XO blade, combination diamond carbon blade, longest run time, 11,000 RPMs, 1.5 hour charge time, extremely lightweight, and six double magnetic guards. You can see the guards down here. But that is it for the box, guys. You can see the clipper here. We'll go ahead and open up the box, see what all's inside, and check this clipper out. All right guys, so there it is. We can see the guards in here and the brush. And then here is the charger, guys. So if you guys do get this, this is a, I don't even know how this works, but this is like a UK plug, a Euro plug. So this will not plug into your regular outlet. So you will have to get an adapter for these. Or if you have a cord that has this bottom that will fit into the charging dock, you can use that as well. So I think the gamma cords are all pretty similar and it will plug into the dock. So if you guys don't have an adapter like this, we can just get rid of that, use a different cord, plug it into the dock, and we can use this dock. All right, guys, but this is what we are all here for. This is the TPOB Goblin. This is the Vector Motor Clipper. We have a clear opening on the front where we can see inside. TPOB on top, keep blades oiled. Power button right here in the middle. You guys see the lever here. We do have the click lever. I believe you can take this off, take the spring out, and make it a free floating lever. You guys can see here, this is the XO blade or similar to the Fusion or Faber blade from Gamma. It is basically a fade blade with these grooves on it that makes it similar to a taper blade. Honestly, guys, I would still say it is basically a fade blade. So the grooves don't do a whole lot different. It just makes it feel like a taper blade. But honestly, if you look at it from here, it is just as skinny as a fade blade. So guys, honestly, these clippers are super quiet. And also the vector motor, guys, if you didn't see my video on the instinct with the vector motor, basically, guys, when it catches drag on the blade, it will up the RPM. So if you notice when I turn it on, it runs in one speed. I'm gonna put my thumb on it and you guys can hear it speed up. So basically the idea is if you're cutting through bulk and it senses a little bit of drag, it will up the RPMs and help cut through that bulk. That is the clipper, guys. Let's go ahead and pull out the trimmer box, check it out, and we'll see what it's all about. All right, so here is the TPOB Goblin Trimmer. So same thing on the box, guys. Just Goblin on both sides, TPOB on the top. Nothing else on the front here except for TPOB Goblin. On the back, it says TPOB Goblin Super Power Vector Motor runs at 11,000 RPM, same as the other. Triple X Deep Tooth Titanium DLC Blade offers the sharpest cut yet and stays cooler and rust free for longer. Ergonomic design to have a balanced weight, comfortable use while still offering low noise level and superior performance. Cuts easily through hair with just a single tap. Shortest size body at 13.5 centimeters length. Same thing as the other one. Includes a charging stand. Same things down here, guys. We have the blade pictured here, the Triple X TPLB blade, Triple X Deep Tooth Titanium DLC, long run time, super power vector motor, 1.5 hour charge time, extremely lightweight, and 11,000 RPMs. So that's it for the box. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. So nothing different here, guys. We do have our clipper brush, no guards included with the trimmer. Here is our dock, just the same as the other. And we do have the UK plug again. Let's go ahead and get this thing out of here. Get this box out of the way. All right, guys, so here is the Goblin Trimmer. So very similar to the other one. We have the Triple X blade on top. Nothing on the back, no lever, guys. Obviously, it is a trimmer, but here it is, Goblin on the front. There's our power button. The same see-through lid where we can see this vector motor. TPLB up top. But yeah, guys, that is basically it for the trimmer. I believe these have a pretty serious runtime, over three hours, I believe, if it is similar to the Instincts that I just unboxed from Gamma. And yeah, guys, I know they look exactly the same, but I got them both the same week. So we're gonna go ahead, throw these things on the charger, get them charged up. We're gonna do this haircut, test out these Goblins, and I'll let you guys know what I think. All right, guys, we got JT in the chair. He needed a little cleanup for a wedding, so we're gonna test out the goblins. I almost said the slimes. We're gonna test out the goblins on him. Once you guys know, I have cut a couple heads with it. I was just telling him. I cut somebody else. I'm gonna include the video, but he was he was way talkative during the haircut, so I could not use the footage with the voiceover. I'll time lapse it after this, and uh, you guys can check that out too. So you can see a couple haircuts. He got a ball fade. We're just gonna do a hot taper on JT real quick and clean him up. I did, obviously, if you guys are subscribed. You saw the last two videos I put up of him. So you just saw this haircut 
but we just want to test these things out. So I'm going to go ahead and use my slime shaver, make sure we use the whole TPOB line. So we started off with the Goblin Trimmer. That's super sharp. They definitely will punch some lines in, balled out super nice. Now on the Clipper, the only main difference I'm going to notice here, guys, compared to the Instinct from Gamma, we do not have the stretch bracket. So we do have the XO blade here, which is similar to the Fusion blade or the Vapor blade, but no stretch bracket, which is, uh, you guys know, obviously my favorite setup is the Fusion blade or this XO blade with the stretch bracket. Uh, it does not open up as far, but it will close up. It will take this bald line out, as you guys can see right here. Just close it up, flick the bald line out. And those trimmers are super, super sharp. So the fact that it'll take the line out, I don't use a lot of clippers. A lot of my taper blade clippers will not take the line out. So kind of nice to have. It's, it's an adjustment. My boosted is the same way, if you guys noticed. In the last little bit, I started taking the line out with the clipper instead of using the slim line like I always did. And that's just because that closed clipper will take the line out. So I may need to come back in with my trimmer. I got a little bit of a hint of a line down here at the bottom, but uh, it, it will do it pretty well. So you guys can see our open section coming together. You know, I kind of move through the steps kind of quickly, and then on the way back down, we will clean that up. So there is our open clipper. Now I'll move on to the open one. I'm going to keep this pretty compact. We're not going to get into all this up here. He just wanted a little taper for the weekend for this wedding. So we're just going to try to kind of pack this high taper, but keep it low, keep it from uh, dealing with all this hair up here on top. And like I said, guys, if you want to basically see the same haircut as a tutorial, go check it out. And I did also just drop how we cut his whole beard off. So you guys can see his beard is super tame now. It was huge and grown out. So if you guys want to see that, definitely go check that out as well. You can see we set our open guideline, open one guideline. Now we'll close it up. Kind of looks blended back here, but right here in this front part, we got a line. So going up to there, trying to soften that line. We know that the half guard is what it's going to take to take the line out. So we're not looking for it to go all the way away. Maybe certain hair textures that will do that. And guys, this being so close with it closed, it is a little bit shorter than maybe say my taper blade, but uh, we will need our half guard. And now we're in with the half guard halfway open. I'm just cutting what needs to be cut here. So I'm looking for dark spots, a little bit of a dark spot right here. And as far as this motor, guys, the vector motor, you guys, if you didn't see the Instinct review from Gamma, it's the same as the vector motor. And the idea, guys, is when it senses bulk, it actually kicks the RPMs up. So you guys saw that. It will uh, it will actually kick up the RPMs when it feels like it needs it. I have not ran into anything yet that I really felt like it was, it was doing that. Just coming in with the four, make sure it all connects to this length up here. Like I said, we're not going to touch anything above that. Really didn't cut anything, so we'll just work our way down. So now to the three. I'm just going right under where the four was, quite a bit above the line, because we know we got to work our way down. I'm going to switch to a comb here so I can make sure I comb this hair back down. We got some room. We need to work our way down to, basically we just did an open one, so we need to be able to get all the way down to the one and a half. So there's that. Now we'll go down to the two. You guys, these are my, uh, these wall premiums or uh, the Marty Blends premiums, whatever you want to call them. Uh, they will fit on these TPLV clippers. Basically everything fits wall, JRL, Gamma, TPLB, Stylecraft, all of that will fit all the same guards. The only stuff outside of that is your Andis blade and your Oster blade. So all these guards fit. I use the same guards on everything that I get pretty much. And you guys know I don't really use any Andis or Oster. So these guards will fit. I do have the green Marty Blends guards. They probably look pretty tough on these slimes. But I do use this multicolor set so you guys can follow along on YouTube. So you guys can see the blend coming together, no problem. Like I said, only main difference from what I use normally is we don't have the stretch bracket. So that does change things just very slightly. But so does the fade blade. So does, you know, switching blades, switching clippers. Everything's just slightly different. So just got to cut accordingly and adjust. Still using my same steps as I normally would. But you guys can see, coming together, no problem. These clippers are definitely powerful. They are definitely a little bit small. Funny enough, some of the guys in the shop with bigger guys with bigger hands actually uh, act like they like these smaller clippers. All right, guys, I'm just going to fade the top of his beard out. We're not going to redo the whole beard. Like I said, if you want to see the beard tutorial, we cut a lot off. He has a little bit of some light spots, so I really showed how to tackle all those light spots. If you guys want to see that, go check it out. It is on the channel. But uh, now we're just going to fade our way up. Same step. So that was an open one. One and a half first, half open. Open one, closed one. Jump right to the open clipper. And we're fading such a little spot here. Usually we can skip the half guard. If we need it, we can pull it back out. Open clipper, half closed. Close at the top. And see, I can see now I need that half guard just for a little bit. So coming with the half guard. 
Just lighten this up, and then uh, we'll move on. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna show the rest of the tapers and everything, but I will move on to the lineup when we get to it. All right, guys, I want to test out the trimmers a little bit. He's got some crazy hair behind the ears, so it's a little bit difficult. We'll see what these trimmers do. As far as I know, guys, I hate to, I hate to call it the same, uh, the one blade, but you guys know the one blade from Gamma. This does have the same trimmer blade, so these things absolutely hit. Definitely just as good as the Instincts, just as good as like the Saber. Of course, guys, I do like the shape of the Saber a little bit better, but uh, these things, these things slap, so they balled out super well. They'll get a nice lineup on something. So I, I was literally just telling JT, you know, not only one are the Sabres a little harder to get, but they're more expensive. And these are uh, these are affordable. I think there's a deal on them right now from what somebody told me. Somebody hit me up like, dude, when are you going to drop the review? I think I want to buy them, but I want to see your review first. So um, they will be on the website, of course, guys, thepissedoffbarber.com. I believe significantly cheaper than the Gamma version, the Instincts. And we won't get into all that mess, but uh, you guys know they're very very similar or uh, I'll just go ahead and say pretty much exactly the same but you guys can see these things these things smack so super sharp super sharp lines and that uh, that cutting blade is just next level so I don't know about the steel blade I don't think it's anything special but that cutting blade definitely does a nice sharp line and same thing on this side we'll work down the back of the neckline up to the ear get a nice smooth circle around the ear you guys can see even down here on the very short stubble part still getting a nice sharp line now we'll work around the ear he definitely has one of the trickiest especially when it's this long he's long hair is just kind of run around behind the ears so you guys just have to go against the direction that they're growing taking off as little as possible you guys need to use your comb to kind of hold it down you can but you guys can see super super sharp lines definitely a definitely a solid trimmer so if you guys like the green the slimes and the, the lime green setup then you may dig these now there aren't any other lids the instinct came with three different colors you guys saw if you saw that unboxing I put the all black on it so on the goblins you guys are only gonna have the green option that's what comes with it but I know a lot of you guys like the slimes and the, the green stuff from TPOB, so this would just add to your, your collection. So I still have the, the slimes laying around. I got the shaver that I still use. But yeah, if you guys like the green, then, then this is definitely definitely the best of the Pissed Off Barber's stuff that he has put out. Definitely leaps and bounds ahead of anything else that he's put out. So super powerful, blades hit super sharp. Definitely no problem. All right, guys, so for my final thoughts on the TPOB Goblin Clipper and Trimmer, if you guys saw my review on the Instincts from Gamma, it's gonna be pretty similar. The trimmer doesn't feel that weird. It's obviously small, but pretty much the same size as a lot of our trimmers. Now the clipper on the other hand, super small guys. So definitely a little different to get used to. Some of you guys may love it. Some of you may hate it. For me, it's not a big deal, but I'm definitely used to using some clippers that are a little bit bigger. And the weight is a little bit different when you get to doing kind of your flick out motion. You don't have any weight at the bottom to kind of counterbalance, you know? Now guys, the difference between this and the instinct on the instinct, I did have the stretch bracket and I took the clicks out. Now we did use this as is. Now the vector motor is super powerful. Definitely no issue there. I didn't really notice needing that up in the RPMs. I haven't ran into that problem yet. I didn't use it on the other clipper either. The Instincts, I hadn't noticed it, but these are super powerful even without that. Whatever the normal RPMs, guys, maybe it is 11,000, I'm not sure, but I don't even notice it kicking up and kicking the speed up of the RPMs. It's just powerful enough without it. Now the trimmers, guys, definitely hit. It is a little bit different shape up here at the top, a little bit wider at the top. Not my favorite trimmer shape that I've used, but these things hit straight out of the box. Now, if the TPOB lime green slime colorway is already your thing, then you guys are definitely gonna wanna check these out. Definitely an upgrade and improvement from the Slime Clipper and even an improvement from the Phantom Clipper from the TPOB as well. All right, if you guys wanna check these out, head to thepissedoffbarber.com. I'm gonna put the link in the description. Hey guys, I do have a code. Sean Cotter will save you 10% on your entire order. So if you wanna check out the Goblins, if you wanna check out the Slimes or the Phantom and the Reaper, all those other Clippers or Trimmers, head over there and check them out. If you guys like this video, smash that thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of these Goblin Clippers and Trimmers. Make sure you guys are subscribed. I got a lot of content 
content I'm recording this week while we're off. I'm coming up here on my days off and getting some content done for you guys. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. I appreciate you guys watching this review and I'll catch you guys next time.